This is Oppo A2X and today I'll show how to fix hacked system on this device. So if you think that your smartphone has gotten hacked, the first measure that you need to take is to run some kind of antivirus or security scan. There are a lot of options that you can resort to in that case, a lot of third party solutions and just overall different security scans out there. Uh, I'll give you just two options. First of them is the built-in Play Store option called Play Protect. It allows you to scan your system for various harmful apps. And in order to run it, you'll need to launch well the Google Play Store itself. Then at the top right corner of your screen, tap at your profile picture, then go in, uh, go in or just open the Play Protect page, tap at the scan button here. And if it will find any threats, real threats, real harm harmful apps, it will, well, let you know about it and will help you to uh, deal with those issues as well. Uh, then if you would like to run more, um, how do I put it, more ground down, ground up or more substantial security scan, you might resort to some antivir antivirus apps such as Avest for example. So get this particular app installed, well use it to run your scan and then terminate virus if viruses is viruses if found and then on top of that you can do also uh, a few manual checks so for example you can launch settings enter the apps category next go for the app management and look through each individual app application that is installed on your system and if you spot anything suspicious or any suspicious or sketchy app just uninstall it like that and see if that will help and the final advice that i wanted to share today is that you uh <clears throat> deny the device admin rights to all the apps that possibly have them so have it so let's find the device admin app list apps list here it is and now if you see that some app let me enter this captcha first so if you see that some app has this permission like let's see this one you will need to deactivate or restrict this permission to this app deny it and if that helped that means indeed that this app was the root of all the issues or at least the part uh some part of the issues that you are having and uh well from here <laughs> it goes without saying but well you do not need to uh restore this permission for this app to this app uh, and not only you're not supposed to do that on on top of not giving this permission back to the app in question you might also need to well, you definitely need to uninstall such app right away. And well, that'll be it for this video. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.